Hey, what's up, 185th? Day nine of our 30 day challenge. Today is an important one. If you're not listening to day one, make sure you do so that it makes sense. It is gaining support today, and this is key. So it is important that you um, gain support from the people around you. And you have to consider um, who will you offer you the pro- appropriate support here, though. So you don't want someone who will respond with judgment, fear, or even jealousy. And this person or these people should be highly supportive. So think of whom you wanted to share your vision, you know, vision board with. And we did that. One of those people is your support. And this is someone who should help you maintain your, you know, your positive mindset, your new way of looking at doing things. So let's talk about how I want to unpack this because I think it's important to talk about how do uh, you know, you can actually create that support system. So we're going through a couple of different different things to lead us down that way. So, you know, we know that life is challenging and life is even more challenging when you're forced to face it alone. Um, Been there, it sucks. Life is also more enjoyable when others are along for the ride. And if you find yourself without the support system you actually desire and need, it's time to create whatnot. I'm in the process of doing this for myself because I changed my friend group and everything. Um, It's it's not always easy, and not, not everyone who you ask will join, but don't give up on this, okay? Follow these steps, because this is proven, proven ways. So perhaps the best advice is to be, you know, supportive of others as well. People will naturally reciprocate. So be supportive, and you'll receive support. So look to things that you could do it, um, offer support right now to them, and in return, a lot of times they do too. So get the support you need. Number one, first thing to do is envision your support system. What do you need? Do you need a shoulder to cry on? Do you need to borrow $20? Are you dealing with cancer? Or do you simply just need a reliable friend? And once you know what your support system looks like, you can begin building it. But first, you have to actually know what you want. Um, Number two, start close to home and branch out from there. So family, close friends are obvious starting point for creating a support system. But you have to be willing to ask for help. Um, I know it's hard. For me, it's been so hard. Um, It's also important to provide support when others need it. So remember that two-way street. Start with your close friends if you have any. If they're toxic, it's time to get rid of them. Um, Branch out to more casual friends and coworkers. You might have a few neighbors too. Um, I don't know where you live. I don't know what you're trying. I don't know if you're like new to your area, but think of kind of make a brain dump or go through your your phone book, your phone list, um, all your contacts in your phone. And then number three. Engage in uh, in your hobby. So others that share the same common interests can become new friends. Um, this is what I'm doing. So you already have a lot in common, okay? Be a good friend and you'll be able to expect them and do the same in return if they're not toxic people. And then number four, find a, find a work mentor, okay? And so this might be someone at your place of employment. It could be also someone of a different company or even someone who's retired. But when things are tough at work, You'll have someone to rely on that's familiar with your situation. And I think that's key. Um, like I was running myself with, with business owners and entrepreneurs and fitness entrepreneurs and stuff because they will have my best interest in heart. They understand. They know like what, what's going on and what happens. And then number five, find a support group if you need to. So if you have a specific challenge such as alcoholism um, or the death of a loved one or drugs or you know something with your eating disorders or overeating, um, you know, find that local support group and share your story. Those that those that share the same issues can be the most understanding and most supportive. Okay, and then number six, find a spiritual mentor. So a spiritual mentor might be a qualified yoga teacher or priest or your local church. It might even be an interested fellow, you know, church member. But, you know, Church is a great place to find, you know, caring and helpful people if it's a healthy place. Um, I've been with the other ones, too, before where it's been toxic. So, you know, this. Any, okay, next. The seven, volunteer. You know, one of the best things I've ever had done is been, had just had a heart to volunteer and been doing it forever. But, you know, your fellow volunteers will likely be supportive on your endeavors. You also have the opportunity to see how, how great your life really is. And so, like, when I'm having tough days... I go volunteer, like, at the church house or somewhere because it gets me out of my funk. Um, so find an organization, find something you believe in and that, you know, you can provide support there and to the other volunteers and in return, they'll do it for you too. And then number eight, join a club or sports team. There's nothing like, you know, the um, 
you know, camaraderie of a fellow team member. I've played sports. So play your favorite sport and make new friends. Plus, then you get active, right? You can also join a chess, hiking, knitting club, a dance class, a painting, you know, go painting club, whatever it is. And then number nine, be open. This is an authentic, okay? Others are much more likely to be empathetic if you're able to be open. Share your story and allow others to see that you need help. And this is hard, I know, because there's, I think there's a fine line of, you know, sharing too much and always needing help and yet also being authentic. Number 10, go online. You can be anonymous while getting the advice and support you require. So there are endless number of support groups and forums ready and willing to help. You can even choose your own name so people don't know you. So if you're someone who like, I can't let people know I'm struggling with this because it's my, you know, my reputation is too out there, you can still find a way. And then let me get professional help. There are plenty of help available. Some will require payment, but there are some free options. You know, we have government paid programs and different things. Um, some church things offer like free programs. Like um, the one I go to like offers a regeneration, like a like a 12 step program for anyone. Um, so talking to an expert can be a great place of help, you know, as well. Um, you know, and so you know, creating that support system for your life, you know, is so important. It's more than just your career. And I'm going to go ahead and now, now that we've talked about like your steps to it, I want to kind of get even more deep into it. Okay. So stay with me because now I'm going to talk about how you turn this into a support system that helps you thrive. Okay. Because this is a deeper part. So in the Western world, we like to do things on our own. Okay. Who needs help? Anyone that we wants to thrive requires support. I wanted to thrive, and once I realized I needed support, needed to ex- be willing to say that, it radically started changing things. So support can come in so many different forms, okay? So let's talk now. We have our ideas. So who can be an emotional support? You know, logistical support, a health support, organizational support, maybe a family support. So you might want to look at those, those people you listed and now break them into different categories. Consider the types of support you need today and in the, and in the future. And then we can put them into place. So, you know, having support increases your possibilities in life. So here on this set, like one, okay, look at your past successes. So take inventory of all the times you've been success, success, successful, sorry, in the past. What support did you have during those successes? Which people were most helpful to you? What support did you not have that you would have been helpful? And this is a lot of times how I know how to help other people because of the support I didn't have during the time, then I can show up for people when they're going through something similar because I know that's what I needed. So do you have some similar people in your life that can fill those same roles? Are there other tools available that can support your efforts such as you know, an organizational calendar. You know, sometimes we just need to get our, get organized um, as a way of supporting ourselves. Clean our stuff, have someone come clean our house for us or something. Just get, you know, our every place cleaned up. And then number two, examine past failures. And be brutally honest here. Now, okay, consider your significant failures. What support did you need but lacked? These are key questions. Don't, don't stop and, like, actually reflect. Do you have people or other tools that can fulfill those roles? Avoid me- repeating your past mistakes by building a proper support system. Too many times we get through a problem and we're like, whew, done. We don't take time to reflect on what we need to put in place so we don't do it again. Number three, um, project yourself and you know, project yourself into the future. Consider what you actually want to accomplish. Consider your challenges, your current challenges. What do you need to address? You know, the, which, are, which ones do you need to address? They're those challenges that you currently face and expect to then face down the road. Think carefully and really make a list, okay? It's key. Like, I have a list of things I expect to face in my business and challenges. And then number four, you reach, you know, for, you know, like those support groups. There's probably already a support group that exists that can help you. Like there's business, you know, sometimes they're called masterminds, okay? Whether you need support in public speaking, controlling your eating habits, dealing with cancer, managing a troubled child, there are groups out there. Just Google and Facebook has tons of groups. So just in the search, like look for it, you know, and expand your definition of support, uh, of support group here. So maybe you think a support group, oh my gosh, I'm not, no, I don't have that kind of problem. If your dream is to become a professional bowler, join a bowling league, even casual recreation goals, can be an important part of support group, okay? So, so and support systems. So this can be, you know, support groups are like <coughs> that supports you and who you want to become. Number five, find a mentor. The right mentor can be the most important part of your support system today. 
They have experience. They see the hidden plot holes in the road ahead. A great mentor will just help you with the challenges. They'll help you avoid them in the first place. And let me tell you, like, a good mentor. But you can choose wisely. Not just someone you like. Someone who's going to speak real truth. Who's going to be honest with you in a real way. Number six, consider uh, non-person support systems as well. Because now that not just providing people providing that support, your planning and organizational tools support your efforts too. So your alarm clock supports your efforts. Yeah, at better time. Your you know your maybe your personal training membership you know whatever provides you support to get in shape. What other tools do you need to ensure that you thrive? So do you need a meditation cushion so you can actually do meditation? Do you need running shoes so you actually go running? Do you need a Russian language course so you can speak Russian to move to Russia one day. I mean, what do you need? You know, make that, make a plan. Because so many times they keep it up here, nothing's going to happen there. Number seven, go online. There is at least as much online as there is offline. Find others with the same goals and spend some time in the communities that exist online. Facebook is a great way, once again, that community, you can find those groups. Um, LinkedIn, you can find, connect with people. There's so many different ways out there. Remember that you can use Skype, you know, to speak face-to-face -face with someone. Zoom's a big thing. You know, at, all over the world, you know, I'm part of this ladies group that's, we meet from all over the world. It's awesome. You know, it's easy to find like-minded people on the internet. we made it real easy these days. Number eight, reach out to those who already exist in your life. Most of the people you know are bored out of their minds, especially with COVID, right? They'll be thrilled to support you on your efforts and spend their, you know, on something worthwhile, um, there's no reason, you know, to be bashful on this. And for me, it's been hard because I've reached out to some people and, you know, they don't respond back. And so that's hard because you feel like it's an attack against you, but it's not. You know, you have to be assertive and ask for help when you need to. Maybe you have to ask a second time if they don't respond. And then they just have a lot going on in their life. It's not about you at that point. It's just about them or maybe, you know, whatever. But you can't, you can't judge that, okay? The more support you have, the easier life can be. The more support, you know, you have the bigger, the goals you can accomplish examine your past and you know and then anticipate your future okay and you know procure that support the support you need in order to thrive um avoid the desire to take on the world by yourself and take on you know your eating stuff by yourself it's unnecessary and creates additional obstacles it's not at that point it's not about oh i'm gonna be tough i'm gonna do this myself i'm gonna will it out things to never work that way okay or you're gonna take a really long long ass path like i did trying to make it when you could learn in a lot shorter time now now i'm okay with paying for speed like i paid for things to get my business going because i'm like i wasted 40 now like i don't want to waste any more time i need to i need to get going jen um and so i paid for a step so that way i could learn and, you know, I'm part of support. So, like, I'm learning to actually ask for that help. And actually, like, I have coaches and I try to get those mentors and stuff. So, I'm, you know, this is stuff, like, I'm, I've lived this out. I'm living it out even more now because I realize how important it is with me completely changing out my friend group and getting out the toxic people. And if you have toxic people in your life, you will want to stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe um and to get notified and get hit to get notifications on my channels whether you're on my uh, podcast when they fit or you're on my youtube or facebook because i am going to do this weekend an in-depth webinar on toxic people and how to get rid of them i've been put putting it together for about a month now um from my own experiences and things that i wish i would have heard or known when i was going through really bad 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 situations um because until you get rid of those, you will never fully thrive in life. You'll never truly reach that next best self. You'll never truly get to that point. So there'll be an option to either join me live for my webinar um, to get kind of the, I'm going to put parts of it on YouTube and on the podcast or you get, you know, get the replay as well. So keep looking for that. If you're someone who has, has deals with, if you feel really stuck in your life, think of the people around you and if you feel like you're being pull back from being you you're in toxic relationships if you have emotional abuse physical abuse any of that you are in toxic relationships and it's going to keep you stuck so i highly highly recommend that you you check out that and so make sure um also make sure you've liked and subscribed like i say again you know that you've done this i would love to know in the comments wherever you are or if you can comment on um whatever platform i would love to know out of all those things i shared 
what's the one thing that you think is going to make the biggest difference? What's the one thing that you're like, oh my gosh, like that's going to do it for me. I'd be really curious to know because normally there's one thing that'll stick out for us, you know, take with surgery and throw the rest away. But what's the one thing that you think is a game changer? I'd love to take a survey of that and know. Um, you know, and so, and then let me know you all in, put it all in or something. Let me know you're going to do this because if you actually put action here, this alone can radically change things if you have the right people in your life. It takes some time and don't expect everyone to just want to, want to be there for you because it's not going to happen. So I need to be realistic with you, but once, if you keep trying, you find those people you know, there's nothing like when you're going through a tough, really tough time and tough day, truly having someone to reach out to that you know cares about you. And it's going to gonna be honest with you, though. And then remember, you need to be, be this back to them. So don't, don't expect just to be the one that's always asking. Reach out. Try to read people. I always try to anticipate what people need before they even say it. Or think of them like how things can be hard for them on a certain day. So <coughs> keep that in mind. All right. I can't wait to hear what you do. So today's might might take a little bit longer. Replay this. Take it step by step. Get that journal out. It's worth the time. I promise you. I'm so proud of you for joining me on this journey. All right. My wonderful friends and um, future friends. I hope we meet someday. Be brave. Be kind. Live authentically and always shine. Remember, you're just one habit away. Today, you're going to be brave. You're going to be bold. You're going to reach out to some people. Okay, make sure you share this with anyone who you think needs this because I think a lot of people need this message today. So please share this. Don't hold it to yourself. It's out here for free. So share it. So other people can get the support and the help that they need. Or it might be your way of asking someone for support. Say, hey, I saw this YouTube video and made me realize I totally need this in my life. Would you watch the video and then we can talk? And then they'll understand where you're coming from. All right. Thank you so much again. I'll see you tomorrow.